Breaking overnight, special counsel Robert Mueller recommending zero jail time for Michael Flynn, claiming the former Trump advisor is providing substantial help to the feds. But our next guest argues after more than 18 months, it's hard to believe there's anything new out there for Mueller's probe. So what does this all mean for the investigation moving forward? And is it wrapping up? Fox News contributor, Wall Street Journal columnist Kim Strassel. Great to have you on the couch, That's Kim. Great to be here. So this broke around five, six o'clock yesterday. Yeah. We're looking at the seven pages. A lot of it is like this. Mm -hmm. What do you what do you get from this? Because the, the, the Trump haters say, aha, what did he give up? Because it's very cooperative. Yeah. And then the, the, the Trump supporters say he gave up nothing. Well, they're all salivating over the redactions that just pointed to. But if you look in, through them closely, it's pretty clear that he helped with a number of investigations. Uh, but it didn't seem he gave up anything on the question of Trump and collusion. In fact, there's a direct reference to his help in a criminal investigation. But we've been told that so far Mueller hasn't found anything criminal on that front. So what do you make of this? No prison time. And if you read it, they're praying his military service. Well, that's only just, by the way, too. First of all, I mean, it's, it's sort of unfortunate that this guy got swept up in what been a was great a special counsel probe anyway. But, you know, even Comey's own agents, including Peter Strout, came back and said that they didn't think that he had lied. Now, the Turkey thing is a little bit different, but on the question of his interactions with the Russian ambassador, right. I think there's still a lot of question of whether he did lie or whether he just caught this right. plea to help out his son. And if you collude, you don't get zero... Uh, jail time that's pretty clear right but you say the real crime is the leaking of his conversation with the ambassador and the unmasking that was going on by the obama administration where's that well that's what's frustrating is we keep hearing that special counsels well they're just got to follow all these different crimes as they come across them this has been the excuse this is why he supposedly got went after you know manafort um cohen, cohen. all these people that have nothing to do with collusion well the very first crime that ever happened here and so far as i know the only Karim related to Russia collusion was the leaking of Michael Flynn's name, um, uh, which was a complete felony. And, you know, you talk to people like Devin Nunes, the head of the House Intelligence Committee. He'll say that was the worst leak he had ever seen in the history of the government in terms of the amount of information it gave to our adversaries about right. our collection methods. Let, let me just clarify this. Tell me if I have this right. What you're saying is that Kislyak, we're, we're tapping his phones and mm -hmm. he knows it. Yeah. So if Kislyak talks to Flynn... And Flynn's on the other side. He's a, Flynn's an American. Mm -hmm. We should not have that name unmasked, correct? Well, right. And how does the Washington Post get it? Yeah, well, there's two aspects. There's what the Obama administration was doing with the unmasking, which is there's some ugly things going on there, and we still don't have all the answers right. to those questions. But then someone leaked the name. And that's just a flat-out felony, uh, punishable up to 10 years in jail. And again, there seems to be no interest in the special counsel's office as mm -hmm. to that crime and how Flynn's name got out there in the first place. Well, we are interested in Fox Nation and what you're doing with Fox Nation. Tell the folks at home how they can oh, see you. Oh, well, you know, it's really fun. Uh, we've got a new show called Deep Dive, right. which uh, my colleagues at the Wall Street Journal editorial page are taking turns hosting. And it's a neat format because we choose one topic every day, and then you get a lot of time to dig into it. Um, so yesterday we did one on the anatomy of a government shutdown. What's it look like? How's it work? What oh, this one might look like? Yeah, yeah. it's been a lot of fun. I think on it's television happening, we get like two minutes, but on Fox Nation you can actually expand. You can oh, just yeah. talk yeah. as long as people want to hear you. <laughs> Maybe too long. Yeah, no, we got to talk for half an hour yesterday, uh, straight but, up about what shutdowns look like and how this one might play. Well, I think it's going to happen. I think too. it's going to happen too. Yeah, I don't yeah. think the president's budging on this. Nope, I don't think so. I think he's got his line on his five billion and he's ready for a rumble. Well, unfortunately for him, there are a lot of Republicans in the U.S. Congress who are not on board with that. No, that's true. But on the other hand, I think there's a lot of Democrats, including Nancy Pelosi, Pelosi, um, who are under a lot of pressure not to play ball either. So I think that also right. bodes for a shutdown. All yeah. right. Kimberly Strasso Thanks, Kim. earlier said she was happy to see us, and I believe her now. Mm -hmm. I, I wasn't sure at the very beginning. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining <laughs> us on the couch Thank today. you. All right. Meanwhile, a major victory, a major victory for free.